In this video, I'm going to discuss how to manage your digital teaching presence. Firstly, you need to set some ground rules. Do you have an open office policy for your students? Can they just drop in any time and expect you to be there and speak to them? You probably give set times to students when you know you will A, be in your office and B, have time to speak to them. You may even have some kind of booking system. Just because digital spaces are available 24-7 doesn't mean that you have to be present in them 24-7, however tempting that might be. Decide and share those ground rules with your team and most importantly with your students and reinforce them as and when necessary. As part of your overall course or programme design, you need to be clear about what digital spaces you will be present in and when you will be there. For teaching, I think it's sensible for your main digital presence to be focused within the virtual learning environment and your course area. I always like to think of a course VLE area as the hub for that course, whatever delivery mode you're using. It should be an easy to navigate, accessible map of the course that students come back to to find out what's happening each week, to see where and when activities and assessments are taking place, to submit assessments, to get feedback and to engage. As part of your introduction to the course, you can tell students when and where you will be online, when they can expect replies to digital communications and activities. It's up to you when you'll be available, but remember, you need to manage student expectations about this and they need to know that it isn't always possible to get an immediate response. Of course, there can be mitigating circumstances and an immediate response is needed, but it doesn't have to become the norm. If you're part of a teaching team, which you probably are, then as a team, work out times that the team will be available for all your students, taking turns as is needed to cover all the time zones you need to cover when you're teaching globally. Just as you would do with campus-based teaching, think about timings for tutorials, remembering that students may be based in different time zones and plan your time accordingly. Also, think about your campus-based commitments too, Fully online teaching and digitally blended teaching can take up a lot of time. Thinking about digital engagement with students, it might be an idea to think about some of the common questions you think students will ask and have a set of FAQs, Frequently Asked Questions, aligned to a dedicated course discussion area. You can also encourage students to answer questions and as a course team, keep a, a light touch moderation of that area to ensure that the correct information is being shared. If students do contribute, remember to acknowledge that. It's also useful to structure students' digital engagement. For example, if there's a template on the VLE, then use that. Otherwise, think about how you want students to logically progress through activities, assessments, anything they need to do, and how else you or they might want to engage. It's also important to remember to design things so that they are accessible for all students, remembering that some may be engaging using assistive technology. We have to be realistic and acknowledge that students will be present in many other digital spaces. You can't be everywhere they are and watch everything they do. You don't run around campus and listen into groups in the library or the canteen. It's the same principle online. Students may choose to do group work, for example, in spaces that just work for them. That's fine. Just ensure that they know they have to submit final works, and in some cases drafts, into a space that you're in, for example, via the VLE or Turnitin. This goes back to the notion of the VLE as the hub. If there are any queries or questions, then they come to you, to the official course area and not the other way around. If you are using discussion activities, be clear that you're not going to lead the discussions. That's up to the students. You and the rest of the teaching team will respond as required. For example, once a week with a summary feedback on the discussion. You can encourage and reward participation as the discussion unfolds. For example, thank the first person to post, highlight an interesting perspective, seed a question in a whole class notification, remind them of when the activity ends and if they need to add more contributions. Having a logical, accessible structure with shared expectations around where and when stuff happens will not only help you manage your digital teaching presence and enjoy your digital teaching experience, it will really help your students too.